door. Oh, this is special. Come here, little buddy. Come here, little buddy. Have a look at this. That is a cute little gecko. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray and today we're in South Texas and we're going to be looking for some reptiles. There's a lot of different things that we can find here and uh, there's some really cool stuff that I'm hoping to see. Let's go. Texas is home to a bunch of different animals and environments, some of which are similar to Louisiana. But in these grasslands, the temperature is a few degrees higher, so the desert reptiles will thrive in these sorts of areas. Have a look at this little guy. Sorry, little buddy. Sitting on that little piece of steel sunning. This is probably the most common species of snake in Texas. This is a rough earth snake. Really fat little body. Now we've found smooth earth snakes before, but I've never actually found one of these. Little fat body, and they kind of look like a worm snake. Now this is actually full grown for this snake species. They don't get very big, and they mostly feed on worms and little slugs and tiny stuff like that. Now they're mostly going to be living throughout this grass, but when there's stuff like this sitting on top of the grass, they'll either sit on top of it or sit under it right on top of the grass. And uh, if any predator or anything comes near them, they'll shoot off into the grass and disappear. Very, very easy for these guys to get away. It's a very cute little face, and uh, it's a very tiny snake. And it is definitely one of the most common snakes that we can find out here. Alright, well, I'm going to go ahead and put this guy back on top of his little thing and he's going to take off into the grass. Watch this. Special. Have a look at this. That is a cute little gecko. This is actually a western banded gecko. Whoop. It's okay little buddy. It's alright. Man, this is a really cool species. One that I've not actually seen before. These are a little desert dwelling gecko that live out here. Another name for this is actually the Texas banded gecko, this variation at least. There's multiple different variations of this gecko species. Another is the Tucson banded, which we've actually shown in the past when we went to Arizona. And they can have all different kinds of bandings. And what's crazy is one egg clutch from this gecko species can actually have all kinds of different color morphs. They kind of remind me of a leopard gecko, which is a very common pet. Now they don't get as big as something like a leopard gecko. In fact, this is full grown. This would be an adult western banded gecko. These are a really, really fragile lizard species. I want to be very careful with them. Now their tails can actually break off. And I can tell by looking at him that his tail actually has been broken off at some point. If you see there, the tail is actually a little bit of a different color. And there's a line right at the base of the tail. That means something tried to eat this gecko and the tail detached, and the predator got the tail, and the gecko got away. This is a really, really cool little gecko species, and their belly is actually kind of see-through, and uh, this one is not pregnant right now. However, when they're pregnant, you can actually see the eggs in their belly. Normally, they have two or three eggs, and uh, it's a really, really neat thing to see. Oh, it's all right. They've got little vertical pupils. You'll normally see these guys coming out at night. Now these species actually have a lot of different predators. Little birds will eat them, and definitely a lot of snakes, like a desert night snake, and even things like uh, long-nosed snakes. A lot of different desert and grassland snakes that live here specifically eat lizards, and that includes geckos. And uh, normally that's why they spend their time only coming out at night. They have really, really good eyesight at night with those little vertical pupils. They take in a lot, a lot of light at night, so it allows them to find things like crickets and scorpions a lot better. During the day they spend their time hiding under stuff and actually hiding in little holes and at night they start coming out. These species can live in all kinds of different grasslands but their favorite things to live in is deserts which not too far from here west we're gonna start getting into some desert areas where a lot of these guys would live but they also do good in areas like this. They're mostly insectivorous, they'll eat crickets, little grasshoppers and in deserts they'll even eat little baby scorpions and centipedes. They're a very, very durable species of lizard, and they can go a long time without water, being as they're mostly a desert species. Man, this is one of my favorite little geckos that lives out here. 
You get little vertical pupils for seeing good at night, and they're a ground species of gecko. Oftentimes you'll see geckos climbing on the sides of buildings and trees, such as Mediterranean geckos or even Toke geckos, but these guys are completely ground dwelling, and they don't have those sticky pads on their feet to be able to climb. They have little claws, and that's mostly for digging and living in sand. Yep, it's a very interesting species. We don't get any kind of ground dwelling species in Louisiana. So to me, it's always cool to see a gecko like this. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put him back under his board. Ready? Sit up slightly. There you go, little guy. Oh, oh, on your board. Boop, boop, boop.